All right, so in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, there are 10 crypts total. You get special items for completing these, so I'm going to show you where they all are. I'm going to start with the ones in the beginning, and I'm going to move on to the ones that are later in the game. I'm going to do them by area as well. Now, let's not waste any time. Let's just get started. Okay, so the first two are in the Peruvian jungle. This first one you can get right from the start of the game when you get here. It's in the northern section by the Challenge Tomb. Right there. Now I'll just pass by the base camp, show you where it is real quick. I'm not going to show the entire tombs, I'm just going to show you where to get to the entrances of them, because once you actually get into them, they're fairly straightforward. They're just platforming challenges, there's nothing in them that's really going to like stop you up. Yeah, there's the entrance. Second one is over here. This is the uh, north of the fuselage where you find Jonah. Jump around a little bit. You don't have to go this way to get up here, but that's just the way I'm going. Now to be able to get through here, you have to have your climbing equipment and everything, but this is after you find Jonah. You really can't access this before then, so you're okay. You can get in. Next two are in uh, Kuwak Yaku Village. This is the place you find after you explore the Peruvian jungle. There's one of them that is to the west of the village by the river. It's underneath that big oil pipeline. It's not too hard to find if you explore around a little bit. If you're coming through the north, you'll pass by a couple of kids. It's a good clue. But it is right here. Simple as that. Oh wow, I completed challenge. <laughs> now let's keep going. Now I believe to be able to get to the entrance of this one, you have to craft a Molotov cocktail, but they give you all the tools to do it, so... And I think they actually tutorialize you on how to do it, so there's no danger in not getting in. I believe you need um, cloth too, and then you use a bottle, <laughs> that's all. Someone barricaded the paddle. I hate that. Oh, you just need cloth. Okay. <laughs> Simple as that. Let's burn it down. Okay, and next one is very easy to find. It's in the wilderness area to the west of the city. Yeah, right there. The trick about this one is that you need a shotgun to get to it. So it's not going to be a fair bit of a ways into the game before you get a shotgun that you can actually break the sucker open. Way past the point where you're done with this area. But boom, there it is. And it's right inside. It's not hard to find at all. Okay, the next five are in the Hidden City. This is the mul this is like where most of them are. The first one I'm going to go to is in the uh, Ruined Village area where you first get to the Hidden City. It's by the Wolf's Den. Cross over here, do some platforming. Yeah, I see. You can't actually get over to this area unless you go up this way. There's no way to platform onto this platform from the water. Jump over. I'll just confirm, just get all the way up to the entrance at least, that this is it. And boom, it's it. 
There's a convenient way down. Yeah, swan dive. Okay, next one, the hidden city. It's in the uh, wilderness to the west of the city. Yeah, you climb up the tree in the cliff by that waterfall over here. If you know where the challenge tomb is in this area, it's in the same general spot. It's just you go up instead of down. I'll show you real quick. Yeah, as you can see, there's markings for a challenge tomb. But to the left, there's a tree, and that's where you want to go. You want to climb up that tree. As a quick reminder again, this is in the uh, wilderness to the west of the city. Almost there. Just need a little more platforming to do. Yeah, you can make that jump. All right, this next one is accessed by performing the second part of the Hearts and Minds quest. It points you to where this location is. To uh, perform the Hearts and Minds quest, it's uh, started by talking to the scarred up looking guy that you leave Jonah with when you first enter the Hidden City. If you want, you can immediately just turn around and talk to him and he'll give you the first part of the quest. There's, actually, there's, there's multiple parts to this. You, they want you to go around and grab some special items. And this is one of them. Interesting thing about this one is that it doesn't actually give you any rewards for doing it. Other than what you get from doing the quest. So if you don't remember which ones of these you've actually done, then keep this in mind that you've done this one. Because it doesn't show up as a regular crypt normally on the map. Like There's now a marker for a crypt right here, but this is where it is. Okay, the last two are in areas after you get the Temple Guard costume. This is when you're going to rescue the uh, Resistance Leader, Uhuratu. Cross here. Now that's the way you're supposed to go. Instead of going right, let's go left. Yep, you jump. Yep, and there it is. That's another crypt. Now the last one in this area... It might require you to have the um, special climbing gear. So that's why I put it last. Otherwise, you can get it here earlier. It seems like you need the uh, the climbing gear for like a horizontal climbing, but could be wrong. This one, you get to from the uh, Temple of Kukulan. Yeah, you have to shimmy from here, and you can't make it, you gotta crawl down. And then from here, you repel. And you can swing over to the ledge. Oh, got it. Fantastic. And that just leaves one more to get. Last one is in the Mission of San Juan, and that also requires a quest to find. This one you actually get some treasure at, though. 
Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's go inside this place for a little bit. Just to show that's how you get in. Now this last one is in the Mission of San Juan. It's in the final, like, major open kind of area of the game. It is right here. You get to it by doing the quest, Explore the Local Mysteries. To do that quest, uh, you talk to the archaeologist that you first met when you came here. They're pretty much like the first people you talk to in this area. Just go back and talk to them, and they'll put you on the right track. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you need to follow these crosses. Get to here. This one's the one you need to push. And there you go. That's the entrance. This one you actually get some treasure from it at least. So that's not too bad. That is all 10 of the crypts in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Thanks for watching, guys. Hello? When I first laid eyes on Ash.